What's up guys, Rich here, and we're gonna take a look at what I think are necessary watch accessories that we need to properly store our watches instead of just throwing them in our sock drawer, which I know a lot of us still do. But if you know me, you know that I like to properly store and organize my watches. So all of these accessories that we're going to look at today were sent courtesy of Q Watch Bands from my thoughts. So I know it's a very crowded marketplace for accessories, but there is one feature that really stood out to me uh, with, with their hexagon watch roll. And, I'm, and they come in a lot of different colors and I'm gonna show you uh, what I mean. Um, and so we'll get started right away. So it is leather and it is nice quality leather. It doesn't have that offensive chemical smell to it. But my favorite feature and what I think is really unique is you'll notice that the flap, but when I lay it out, lay it down, we see this extra uh, blanket right here, which I really like because especially for our meet and greets, right? And this is here's my Grand Seiko. Uh, but in those meet and greets, if we're being honest, they're usually at a restaurant bar with tables that don't have linen. So they're just really grimy and greasy and, and just sticky. They're just, if we're being, they're just gross to be honest. So I've never enjoyed storing my watches on, on those sort of bar like tables. But now this with the microfiber allows me to store my watches on a clean padded area rather than on that grimy um, wooden table. So that's a really nice unique feature that here it is, so that I, I really appreciate it. It's like I said, it's lined with the microfiber. This is the navy and the um, and the orange, and each of the slots are, are like this versus the uh, snap closure, which are our two um, main kinds that are available to us. One thing I, I do want to point out is I do have some watch rolls that are really expensive, uh, and those pillows are both glued and. Uh, stitched for extra reinforcement. I, I obviously this is glued. I don't see any stitching on the pillow, but it looks like it would be it would hold up just fine since it's only being slid through and so I don't see any issues with that. Um, but I just wanted to point that out. Um, the the price on these watch rolls is hundred and nineteen dollars, and I think that's priced competitively for the for the marketplace. I mean, some are a lot more expensive, some are cheaper. And I've seen some and handle some that are just really low quality. This, I am pleased to say, is really nice quality. You can see all around, it doesn't have the extra gaps where it's supposed to be covered, right? So there's no dust or debris that's going to get in there. Where it's supposed to be sealed or covered, it is properly. It doesn't have doesn't have all that, any gaps in, in, in between that. So these are definitely... Uh, really, really well made. This is, like I said, the navy and the orange, but they have a whole lot of colors. This is in the brown. Same thing, the brown microfiber, brown on brown. And then, one of my favorite colors is their gray with the ever-popular Tiffany blue. So, it's a really pretty, pretty, pretty lining in there. Really pretty lining in there. Just... Again, a great way to store our watches at, uh, for our beloved meet and greets. So, like I said, the, I don't know if I mentioned the price yet, but the price is about $119, and I think that is um, what we're getting is, is a really nice quality with a unique feature uh, in our watch roll. The next product we're going to look at is the watch stand. Now, I know these are really popular, um, but I do want to go back and, and just touch on what I started with uh, the watch rolls. Q Watch Bands does have their own website, but when you go and place your order, it will take you to their Amazon shop. And that's where these products get shipped out from. And if you've not ordered from Amazon, if you're a little bit um, curious about it, um, their customer service, service has been great. They do have a Q Watch Bands does have a team that represents their customer service. And I've interacted, interacted with them a couple of times uh, for any questions or concerns, and they've always been really prompt at responding to us. And I am not an affiliate for Amazon, so there's nothing wrong with that. I know that people get commissioned for being an Amazon affiliate, and like I said, that's totally fine, especially if you're transparent about it. I'm just being transparent that I am not an affiliate, so I don't earn any commission on this. I'm just, I was just really curious to see these products, and they invited me to take a look at them. So this is their watch stand, and it's We've seen these a lot, right? But one of the things that I was 
a little bit curious about was almost everyone I've seen, and I, I've surprisingly, uh, I've, I've not had my own watch stand, but you see the slope here? The, it, it's not straight, so I was wondering how is that gonna be good for our watches? Our watches are just gonna slide right off it. It is genuine Napa leather, genuine marble, and it, this isn't a black and white combination, but they also have a black leather with a black marble base if, if we want that. But going back to one of the, the curiosities that I had is, is, is for this, but there is a little bit of a ridge in there, but it's really not, not a problem as I was curious about. So here's my Marathon GSAR, which uh, it's one of my favorite watches. But when we store the watch here, even if it does slide down and it doesn't, it never, the crystal never comes into contact with the marble. So even if, like I said, it's fine. So uh, I was just always curious why uh, this was always at an angle rather than flat, but as you can see, it's a non-issue. Obviously we can't store our uh, leather straps in here unless it has a deploying clasp or, or a bracelet, bracelet like this, but a really cool accessory to really accessorize our desk or our nightstand. And I would use this mainly if I know I'm gonna wear the same watch for a few days in a row, it's just a lot more convenient and it just looks really cool uh, to store the watch on. I, I keep this at, I keep one at, um, uh, on my desk at all times, but I'm thinking about adding this to my nightstand because I just think it looks, it looks, it looks really nice. So the next, and this is priced about $84. And um, I think it's, 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 it's really, it's just a cool feature. One of the other things I forgot to mention that there's a hole back here and it comes with the tool. And I believe this is to adjust the height of this space. I think it, it, it's perfect as it is, so I didn't do any uh, adjustment to it. Now, the next accessory that uh, we're gonna talk about is their leather valet tray. So it comes flat like this when, when it gets shipped to us. And we all we have to do is connect Snap the buttons, and voila, there's the valet tray. Same re same purpose as I would use the uh, watch stand. Uh, there's my Grand Seiko, um, as I would uh, the valet tray. Just like this. Now, I've had a valet tray like this uh, before, uh, but I didn't use that for my watches. I used it for my keys and my wallet, pens, just knickknacks like that. But um, for this, I would not use, I would not add any keys to this if I'm gonna keep my watch on it. I do use this for my uh, wallet and my watches. So another nice, a nice accessory to have. It also looks really cool on the desk. And there's their Q branding on the leather. These are all leather, by the way. This is priced about uh, 40, $47, so there it is again, open, snap. So the least expensive of, of these of these accessories uh, right here. So again, guys, I, I think that the products are really well made. They're, you know, in a very crowded marketplace, but they're well made and I think they're priced competitively. They have a whole lot of different colors here. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you soon. Take care.